Well, two years ago when I was just 20 years old, but well, let me tell you what happened to me. I had a girl who I truly loved, yeah, we were happy as we could be. We had a house, a picket fence, we had a tire hanging from a tree. Everything was just as good as gold. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I want to welcome you to the channel. Thank you for watching my video. I live off grid here. You can see behind me here is our solar panels and we live completely off grid in this house. Our off grid home that is under construction here by the mountains overlooking the ocean. We have to haul in our water. We do not have a well. We have two water tanks one on top of the roof and then we have this larger cistern in the ground i got up to use the restroom i saw a light that i have never seen before there is a mountain over here there is no homes there's nothing on those mountains and that morning when i went to use the restroom i came back and i noticed this big light enormous light and you tell me what you think it is it was very windy that morning and my camera had problems focusing on the object. If you see to the right, there's some light. Those are houses down in the town and the object with lights appeared to be between two saddles of some mountains. I've been told this is an area that has strange phenomena occur where there's lights in the sky that cannot be explained. Perhaps this is another one of those sightings. This is the same vantage point of when I film that object. To the right, you can see the house that was in the video with its lights. And up on top of the hill between these two mountains, the saddle right there is where the object was. On the other side of those mountains. Now, if you look, the horizon of the ocean Look at it. It goes way back. You see the horizon. It just keeps going. This is the Sea of Cortez. That horizon continues past, that's the island Alcatraz. It continues past these mountains back here where this object was. Between the saddle of those mountains, the mountain behind the big mountains in the back. That's the Paneria there. Fresh bread. Baked today. Mmm. We just bought these. And how much did we pay for this, babe? Three dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, three dollars and fifty cents. Fresh baked. I'm at my favorite place to drink coffee, Cappuccino. So this this is kind of like Starbucks for Mexico. All right. So we got our coffee fix. I actually got tea. Tea with chaya. And got a cookie here. And then she got a, a cappuccino, right? She got a real small cappuccino. All that was 11 bucks. So it's, yeah, coffee's expensive anywhere, you know, even in Mexico. 
want to show you guys my setup that I've been using to fish with. This is what I've been using. It's a pro bottles. It's a 50 grams it looks like. So it's kind of big. The one I was using before was about that big. It's like probably 30 grams or something. And then this here is just the pole. I know it's not anything fancy by no means. It's just a Sebco bite alert. It's a catfish pole that I bought from Walmart for 50 bucks two years ago. And uh, I've been using that. I don't, I haven't, I just haven't had the money to buy anything nice. Some days, hopefully. But right now, I'm going fishing. Got him. Cool. I think he's another one of those. Yep, he is. I got one! Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Come on, yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, baby! Well, there it is, This is about three and a quarter. <clears throat> I don't know how accurate that is, but because it sure does look a little bigger than that, but you know how fish are. I think it's about three and a half pounds. That's a good size flounder though. So I don't know how, what the length is, but so from the top of his head here, he's about 20, and a half inches that's where he is 20 and a half inches but he's 11 inches with his fins his head his head's almost five inches that's a big head that is a cool fish man i think that might be bigger than the last one i'm not sure but i think that might be the bigger the biggest flounder i've caught it, it's about the same size as that other one i caught but he's he's pretty big. That's it. That's a big fish. And see the they they lay flat on the ocean to ambush their prey. So they lay like this, and when the food f comes above their face, they whoom, snatch it, jump up there and eat it. And so this this side is all white. But you get a flay right here, a small flay. And a real big fillet right here. This you get a good size fillet off of these fish. They so would make a savage here with that one. Yeah, sure. This, yeah, this is that. We already cut uh, cut one up, and that's inside there with some shrimp. That's dinner. Savichi, flounder, and shrimp. God, that looks good, Rita. Meal. It smells good too. Now I'm starving. Yes, sir, Risa. All right, this is how I'm cutting these with the saw. This is plastic, folks. So typically you wouldn't be cutting plastic with this, but it's been working great for me.
So you just flip it around and repeat the process. Look at that. Just don't cut your fingers off. Don't cut your fingers off. I'm a working man, doing all I can. <laughs> okay. Perfecto. I can't hear you. I know I can't hear you. I can't hear anything she's saying. I think she's saying bad stuff. That's why I wear these. Well, we're heading out. We gotta leave our home. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, I'm serious. I feel. I don't feel good about it. Look at this beautiful morning. I don't know how well this camera will pick it up. Let's go outside for a second and see it. Just a foggy morning on the ocean. Probably can't pick that up very well with this phone. It's a foggy day. Foggy morning. Time to hit the road and head back to the real world. I'm gonna drink me some coffee and sit in front of me right here and look at the ocean. Here's my chair. We just sit here and drink our coffee in the mornings. It's not too cold outside. We might just do it outside, but it's time to go home. And uh, it's been a great, great time here. Oh, I want to show you we finished the bathroom. We had worked very hard to get this done. So what we did this time here was we finished the closet. We still have to put the trim in. And we got the floor in here. It's all done. Of course, we got the floor inside this little closet done. We still got to put this together. Rita made this too. She's such a engineer. That's a laundry chute. Our laundry basket. And our floor is all done. She started putting some rock behind here as well. So, little by little, we're getting there. One day at a time. That's what they say. Very grateful that we got to come and enjoy our time here, and we'll see you on the next one.